so now when the user click on the upload icon button we will save the listing information to database so we can go to our new view model right click on uh, view model new dot file we will give it name as listing or you can say posting listing view model or you can say posting which means the same okay posting view model so we can give it name as a save or update we will use the same method for saving new listing or updating an existing listing so we can say save or update listing let's create an instance of it in our global so we can say here Posting view model dot save or update listing. Of course, before that, we will validate the form. So we can say if not exclamation mark, which means not. If form key dot current state dot validate. If the form is not validated, then simply return. Then we will check if the residence type selected, if that is equals to null, then simply return. Now you know that we have our resident type selected which we initialize with empty string so instead of saying uh, equals to null we can say empty string if it is equals to empty string then return also we can check if the images list dot is empty if it is empty then return that is do not proceed further now we need to create a model class for posting or you can say listing so right click model new dot file which will be by the name uh, posting underscore model we will define here the attributes ID name type price description address city country rating then we need to create that is define instance of our contact model we will give it name as host then we need to create define basically a list of type string images name amenities and display images which is of type list memory images which belongs to cubertino dot dot and then map string integer type beds and bathrooms then in the constructor of posting model We can say this dot id initialize with empty string same goes for the remaining ones like this dot name this dot type comma this dot price description address city country and host initialize display images and amenities as an empty list then beds bathrooms maps 
and then writing with zero. Now let's come back here to our posting view model to our creating posting screen first of all and here we are going to create instance of our posting model we can give it name as posting posting model so for example first we get the name text writing controller that is the listing name the text we get from it and we assign it to the attribute on our posting model class which is posting dot name same goes for the other ones for the price description address city country amenities beds bathrooms and display images also we need to add the resident type selected which will be assigned to type attributes and then the host which will be posting dot host to this we will assign app constant dot current user dot let's create this on our app constants we can say here contact model create contact from user model return contact model id will be current user dot id first name will be current user dot first name last name will be current user dot last name and display image will be current user display image so now here we can say current user dot create user from contact then comes the images so we can say posting dot let's implement this also on our posting model we will say here that set images names images name equals to empty list we initialize with empty list and then we run for loop we initialize integer type i value with 0 i variable with 0 i will be less than the display images list dot length i plus plus dot eight and the name of it will be like image and then dollar sign inside the curly braces you can say i dot png so it will have like image one image two image three image four image five as depend on the total number of images the user wants to upload so we can say dot set images names now of course in future we will add here the if else condition which will check if this is new post or new listing or the else statement that is if this is the old post which the user wants to update which simply means either it is going to serve as a new post or the the user is going to update the old posting also on our posting model we need to add here the bookings and reviews for which we need booking class and review class so right click on model new dot file and we will create first the booking underscore model class booking and then 
string id posting contact and dates let's import the contact model and the posting model then the constructor of booking let's give it proper name which is booking model and then right click on model dot file review define these attributes so now come back to create posting screen and what we can do is we can set initialize the rating with 3.5 booking as empty review is also empty as this is a new listing which we are going to upload so now our posting view model instead of calling it this name let's give it a proper name which will be like add listing info to file store so now let's implement this first of all we can create instance of the posting model and then we can say posting dot set images names then we initialize the data map in which we will have our new listing data for example address posting dot address then the remaining ones as we have over data now we can save it to database by simply creating a reference we can say document reference firebase file store dot instance dot collection collection is the postings collection dot add and add the data to it data map and then posting dot id to this we will assign the reference dot id and then app constants dot current user we will add for new posting to my posting that is to the logged in user posting so we can do that on the user model here we can say add posting to my postings posting model posting We need to initialize here a list of type posting model also booking and reviews so now we can say my postings dot add and to this we can add this new posting we will initialize a list by the name my posting ids list we will run a for each loop on my postings list this posting okay which contain the postings the user posting and we will get the ids from it and assign it that is added inside our this list so you can say for each element which simply means each posting that is one by one get each posting from this list which is represented by element so once we get it we will start adding it to our this list each element we will add to our this list and of course the id of it 
and once we have the my posting IDs list populated with the posting IDs of the logged in user then we can update it in the database as well inside the users main collection that logged in user that is my posting IDs to which we will assign our my posting IDs list so now here we can say current user dot add posting to my posting to which we pass the posting which contain this information so now come back here to create posting screen as we call it from here so to add listing into the Firestore database then we can say when it is complete so we can add waiting here that is when it is executed successfully then the next thing is to add or upload images to Firestore which simply means Firebase storage Let's quickly implement this on our posting view posting view model. We will create here an instance of posting model as we have multiple posting images so we run for loop on our images posting dot display images. And inside this for loop one by one we are going to upload the images we will give it name as uh, posting images dot child posting dot id and under the id can say posting dot images names i that is one by one using its index number as you know this is a list which contain images name so one by one as you know it is inside the for loop so first the zeroth index image name then the one in index image name then the second image second index image name and so on we are going to upload it posting dot display image one by one using its index number So then we implement we implemented our this method on our posting view model and we call it here that is it will upload images to Firebase storage and once it is done then simply send the user to the host home screen on our posting model booking and review model now one thing which we have to do is we can create this instance globally cut this from here go to global dot dot and simply create it here initialize here we can give it name as posting model the reason for this is for example 
here on our posting view model we create here again and again we initialize an instance of posting model which means that the data it contains it will be lost when any time we create new instance and you will get null error so that's why we need to remove it like this and let's start from here we will access our global posting model okay which is on the global dot dot make sure that you import this uh, global dot dot package okay which belongs to global dot dot file similarly on our posting view model We do not need to create new instance every time because it contains the data and we are making use of that data. On our posting model, we have defined these booking reviews. Make sure to initialize here as well inside the constructor. Same goes for our user model. On our user model, we have defined these three and we have to initialize here otherwise you will get null error okay once you initialize here then we are okay to test our application listing name will be let's say room for rent in falcon let's say apartment or building then the type apartment price let's say 25 then you can type some description after it the address then the beds type and then photos you can choose multiple and then when you click on upload as you can see we have to provide amenities as well the form validation so let's say TV free laptop let's say breakfast lunch let's upload so you will see here that the upload starts okay it is uploading and you see that it is uploaded successfully we are redirected to the home page of host if you go to the database let's refresh you see posting main collection is added under which we have the first listing you can see the details which we added four images and all this information according to the code if you go and add listing into file store you see this information then what we do add posting add you see that inside the main collection posting we have this listing information which has a unique posting ID and then comes add posting to my postings which means add that specific listing ID to the logged in user information so for example this listing has this ID MCTW if you go to users 
you will see the listing ID MCTW so my posting ID is to it it is added here then of course add images as you know we have multiple images so for example I choose four images the for loop will execute four times and one by one it will upload the image inside the posting images folder let's check and it will have its unique names for example the first one you can see image 0, image 1, image 2, image 3, .png. okay 